Hiya folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And uh, we got another cartoon news uh, story for you here. Uh, this one's more interesting uh, than probably some of the other ones I've done recently. Uh, we're here on ScreenRant.com, uh, article by Molly Fesser and Mike Tyson Mysteries has been cancelled after four seasons. And I want you to know, I have never seen an episode, not seen a single... I think this show... Was this show a reboot of an older Mike Tyson cartoon, like I or something like that? I haven't seen any Mike Tyson. Like I, I, I don't know. You attach a celebrity name to it, and then I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't know if I want to watch that. Like, what the hell? Like, it's just Mike Tyson. <laughs> it's, it's like it's kind of like Scooby Doo, but like get rid of the Scooby Doo, and you know how they always have guest characters. Just it's like get rid of Scooby Doo and just have the guest character with their own wacky character. I, I don't know, man. I. Celebrity cartoons, that's, uh, I don't know, it's, um, I don't know, I, I never uh, never really got into this, uh, I can't think of any celebrity cartoons off the top of my head that I've watched uh, recently, or, or if ever, like have I even watched a celebrity cartoon where it just focuses on like Mike Tyson or something, like I don't know, let me know, let me know in the comments down below, are there any other like celebrity cartoons? Uh, that focus on a celebrity like like this one, like Mike Tyson Mysteries. Um, maybe I'm just forgetting like a really blatant one off the top of my head or something. But uh, yeah, let's let, let's just jump right into this article. Let's find out. Uh, I'm I'm gonna assume before I jump in that the ratings just plummeted and they were just like fuck this shit. Uh, you know, we don't really need a celebrity cartoon anymore. Uh, when they could be making like fresh original IP where they don't. Uh, they must have to give some money to Mike Tyson, right? Or uh, like he must own the rights or so, I don't know, something. So uh, Adult Swim's probably like, why are we going to pay Mike Tyson when we could just make our own shit, you know? Uh, so let's, uh, let's jump in after four seasons. So it, it did get to four seasons. So somebody somewhere must have been watching this thing. Uh, Adult Swim cancels Mike Tyson Mysteries, the animated comedy that follows the retired boxer and his team of mystery solvers. Uh, so we got Mike Tyson, we got a random ghost fellow right here, uh, reminds me of my favorite, one of my, well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite, like one of my top dog, uh, DC characters, Gentleman Ghost, so he's giving me some Gentleman go Ghost vibes, uh, that looks to be a pigeon or some kind of bird, uh, and then we just have some kind of random, uh, Asian lady, uh, so who maybe likes cars or is that just the scene? I don't know, maybe she's just reading a book. I don't know. Uh, Adult Swim cancels Mike Tyson Mysteries after four seasons. The animated comedy series from Warner Bros. debuted on Adult Swim in 2014 and centered around the retired boxer, Mike Tyson, while he attempted to solve mysteries, as the title suggests. Does he also box people? <laughs> he must box people, right? Uh, following the style of cartoons from the 70s era, Mysteries... Uh, also featured Tyson's team of mystery solvers, including Norm, McTon uh, Norm McDonald as Tyson's best friend. Uh, wait, best friend Pigeon? Oh, is oh so Norm McDonald? Wait, Norm McDonald as Tyson's best friend Pigeon. So the Pigeon is actually his best friend. Um, again, I, I again I've never seen the show, so uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm not familiar. Uh, where was that pigeon? Uh, Jim Rash as the ghost of the Marque Marquis Mar Marquise Marquise. That must be it. Uh, ghost of the Marquise of Queensbury. Okay, what a name right there, huh? Uh, and Rachel Ramraz. These are some really weird names. Jesus. Uh, as Tyson er, and Rachel Ramraz as Tyson's adopted daughter, Young He. It must be pronounced like Young Lee, right? Like Young He, Young He. I don't, I don't know, uh, or something. Young Lee. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. Young He. It might, it might. I don't know. There's always these weird Japanese and you know pronunciations and such. Uh, Adult Swim is known for its weird, surreal comedy shows, and Mysteries was no different. Now the show, which finished its fourth season back in February, will not be returning. Does it say why though? I, I, I hope. 
I don't know. I hope they let us know. Maybe Mike Tyson just didn't want to. Uh, does Mike Tyson play Mike Tyson, or am I just like hallucinating here? <laughs> uh, after four seasons, uh, wait, who plays Mike? T Mike Tyson must voice himself, right? Maybe. I'm assuming. Uh, after uh, okay, uh, after four seasons, <laughs> after four seasons, Adult Swim uh, is canceling Mike Tyson mysteries on the Modern Moron podcast via ComingSoon.net. Staff writer Larry Dorf confirmed the show's cancellation, revealing the decision to end the show was made towards the beginning of the year. Well, I was a writer for Mike Tyson Mysteries, said Dorf. Mike Tyson Mysteries is not a show anymore. It's been canceled. Well, that's pretty blunt. It was very fun. Yeah, it was a funny show, but it's all done. Huh. Dorf also revealed that he and others involved with the show had pitched a new series to Warner Brothers animation. Okay. Uh, but he doesn't say he does he doesn't say if, if that got greenlit or whatever, but uh there we go. Uh I think it would be better if they just had a property that wasn't attached to a celebrity, like I've been saying. Uh wouldn't you want the merchandise rights? Right? Let's just say that blows up. What what if you made a show? And then it just like like Pokemon, you know, like what if you made a pair? Imagine you made a parody of Pokemon, and then the merchandise sales blows up. But for some reason, you had a celebrity, and the celebrity owns half the rights, and now you're fucked. <laughs> you know, it's like why even bother giving the celebrity the spotlight when they could take percentages? You know, I, I don't know. If I was a cartoon, like uh, I don't know, what do you call it? A uh, higher up at a cartoon an executive. And they said, what would you rather have? A brand new original IP owned entirely by us or one that focuses on a celebrity? I wouldn't even look in the celebrity direction. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going here. Uh, the news follows the ca cancellation of, of another popular Adult Swim. Oh, this is the Venture Bros. No, I just did a video on that, too. God damn, everything getting canceled out here. What the fuck? Um which ran for seven seasons, was axed while the writers were in the midst of working on a season eight. That's so disgusting. They had a, they were working on a season eight, and they're just like, fuck you guys, we cancel. Ah, oh. but it might, but we've seen in the GameSpot article that it might not be canceled. It might be able to find a new home somewhere. Uh, Apple TV Plus, maybe, uh, Peacock, I, I don't know. I, ooh. <laughs> I don't know where we could find it, but uh or uh, find a home for it, but I, I hope I hope they find a home for Venture Bros. What a great show. Uh and uh yeah, so Mike Tyson also done. Uh you guys let me know if this if Mike Tyson was a good show. I, I never seen it. I don't want to see it. Uh it, it looks interesting enough, but like I just I don't care about it. I don't know. Uh whenever it's a celebrity, I, I just, you know. I don't really get get in on that uh unless it was like it would have to be like a really really good show or something like like Total Drama Island or something if if Total Drama Island had like a guest instead of Chris McLean they had like I I don't even know who they would have to add you if they did like a YouTuber celebrity Total Drama I think I I would watch it that that would be like an exception or something but like I don't know I I don't fucking know um, the unexpected cancellation caused much, uh, much disappointment for both fans of the show's team, like the Venture Bros. I don't know. I, I feel like the Venture Bros had like way more fans though. Like uh, something tells me that like a lot more people are going to be disappointed about the Venture Bros as opposed to, uh, Mike Tyson mysteries. Um, like the Venture Bros, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson mysteries, uh, garnered a cult following for its bizarre humor and weird characters. Uh, so it does have a cult following, I guess. Uh, but I don't know. Something to, I don't know. I feel like the Venture Bros is more mainstream, though. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I feel like if you ask like a hundred people, like, have you ever heard of Mike Tyson Mysteries or the Venture Bros? Most of them would probably say the Venture Bros instead of Mike Tyson. You know, people would be like, yeah, I've heard of Mike Tyson, but I didn't know there was some kind of cartoon associated with him. Uh, but yeah, so that's is that the end of the article? Uh, Mike Tyson Mysteries was created by Tyson. Hugh Davidson and Lee Stimmel and developed by Davidson and Giancarlo Volope. After four seasons of Tyson's nonsensical and wacky adventures, the eccentric series will likely be missed by fans. Yeah. 
There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Bye bye, Mike Tyson. Uh, so, you're. I guess it's a sad time if you were a fan of the show. Uh, on the plus side, they said that the writers pitched a cartoon to. So, if you were a fan of Mike Tyson Mysteries' uh, comedic style, they they pitched a cartoon and. If that gets picked up, maybe it's not that big of a loss. You know what I'm saying? Mitigate the loss here a little bit. Uh, but I still think that the Venture Bros was much sadder of a cancellation. Uh, I think that show just like was way funnier and had way better characters. But but then again, look, my opinion is like invalid here because I never actually watched Mike Tyson. I never seen an episode, so I can't say it was better or worse or I don't know. I just I was never interested by Mike Tyson, so. Uh, I'm not a fan of boxing. I'm more of a hockey guy here. I'm Canadian. We love our hockey. What can I say? Hockey all the way. Uh, unfortunately, the Toronto Maple Leafs do not deliver. <laughs> uh, fuck. So, uh, yeah, let me know all your uh, Mike Tyson thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if, if you're uh, excited for whatever they're pitching to replace this show, presumably. Uh, and, yeah, let me know uh, in the comments down below. And then go ahead and subscribe. Uh, let's see those channel analytics. Uh, let's see here. Dashboard. Uh, whoop. Playlist. Hold on. Let's see those analytics. There we go. So, uh, yeah, we're, at, we're up to 61 subscribers. Getting those big numbers here. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, I'm liking the numbers. We actually had a, I don't know, one of my videos went viral here. Uh, the one where I got duped by a fake Annie Log YouTube channel. Uh, that one just blew the fuck up. Uh, and uh, you can see here that I uh, yesterday I, I just like blew up and went over 700 views uh, in such a short span, which was pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it. Just go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand uh, subscribers by the end of the year. Let's make it happen so I can keep bringing you more cartoon news and shenanigans. And that's it. <laughs> the end. Bye-bye. See you later.